Bubba, what are you doing? I'm running away. Houston! <laughs> Pickle monster, baby. Give me that switch. Why do you have Leah's switch? He always takes it from me, that's why. Houston! You have a phone? No, I don't. You, mom's phone? Yes. Oh, so Let's she, wait, TV. hold on. So she never lets you have her phone? Well, I don't have games on there. You can get games? No, we can't. We can't. There's no games for free on there. Yeah, there is. Okay, let's try and do it. Here. Let's go. Cookie time. What's up, Luchi Gang? Hey. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly Jean. I'm Kingston. What's up with this? I look you don't like this shirt. I'm not. I, it's been like a habit now. I've been doing it a lot. But I don't like this shirt because it's look, whack. It has like the shoulders like. Yeah, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Anyways, we just made cookies, you guys, and they are bomb.com. I just got Houston trying to bully Leah oh. for her Nintendo. So you have proof? Yeah, on video. Are these ready? Yes, sir. They look good. What's this brand called? Toll House? Toll House. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's like what? Come on, show me. Hey, hey, no, hey, 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 hey. No, but the cookies are good. Hey, they bust. Currently making some chicken, fried chicken. I breaded oh. it, and there's nine minutes left. This is what you call an air fryer. So, yeah, this was one of my Christmas gifts, and it comes in clutch. I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me and Bubba Love chowing down them cookies. I've got them in This one? Right. What? What are you doing? I'm, I'm telling you to look at it. What are you telling me to look at? It's cracked. Oh, who cracked it? You did. <laughs> Yeah, eating your little cookie. Give me that cookie. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Fight, fight, fight. Don't fight. Fight, fight, fight. fight. Oh! Oh! So just walked in and asked what we were doing. And right when she was talking, um, the macaroni just overflowed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do your schoolwork today, little girl? Yeah. What's eight plus two? Four plus five. Uh, no, nine. Seven plus three. Yeah, seven plus three, ten. Two plus six. Eight. Eight minus four. Eight. Four. Five minus three. Two. Eleven plus eight. Actually, nineteen. Nineteen minus seven. Very good. Yeah. Gotta check and make sure they doing their schoolwork around here, man. What y'all cooking? What is that? You know we always cooking around here. I ain't ate breakfast, I can't tell. <laughs> I love you, baby girl. Did y'all hear that, man? Did y'all hear that? I haven't ate. I went to go visit my mom. Shout out to mama. Uh, she got sick, so I had to go visit my mother. She was not feeling well. And I left early, and I barely got back about 30 minutes ago, so I haven't had breakfast or lunch today. I actually ate a little bit of my mom's house. Oh! Why are you always lying? I know. What happened? Hey, if you can't take the heat, get out the kitchen, boy. I'm not in the kitchen, Dad. <laughs> Did you hear Roro? He tried to smack Houston. We got the chicken with the mac and cheese. <laughs> I made it 10 out of 10. Wait, what? You ate it already? Yeah. What'd you eat? Mac and cheese. The chicken. Oh, 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 I'm trying, I'm trying. Do I eat my pork? I don't know. What are you doing? Oh, it's a chicken tender? Yes. Real, real butter, and I love it, and I'm like... You low-key should've used the fork. It looks like you have no home training. Mmm. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ow! I can't eat it. Yeah, man, we back. 
You know what I'm saying? Even if we don't post in a while, it might be two weeks, three weeks. But you know when we do post, we're going to pop back on y'all with some positivity and uplift your spirit and let you know that we ain't lost our faith and we're keeping our eyes not on the prize, but on the cross. You know what I'm saying? Keep your eyes on the cross, man. Exodus uh, 17, 11. Y'all look it up. Get that Bible over there. Somebody, somebody bring me a bottle. Somebody... Hold on, Billy Wayne. Look at this boy eating a turkey leg over. What is he eating? Turkey neck. Go, take your turkey neck over there, Billy Wayne. Go. Go on, boy. Anyway, go to Exodus 17, 11. Uh, okay. I found this Bible. I found this verse, this scripture in the Bible. 17, 11, Exodus. Will you be quiet? He's over here choking on that turkey neck. Kingston, he's choking. Billy Wayne done choked on the turkey neck. Oh my God. Anyway, like I was saying, it's easy to get distracted by the things of the world. Like we just got distracted right now. That was a great observation and to see how you get distracted. I was trying to bring y'all a word. Exodus 1711, read out Exodus 1711, Gigi. As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning. Whenever he lowered his hands, grew tired, they took a stone and put it on. Wait, what? Start over. <laughs> as long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning. As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning. They're speaking of the first battle that they went into when Joshua led the Israelites into the promised land. This is the first battle they went into. As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning. Carry on. But whenever he lowered his hands, the Amalekites were winning. So whenever he lowered his hands, they started losing. Go. When Moses' hands grew tired, they took a stone and put it under him and sat on it. Aaron and Hur held his hands up, on, one on one side, one on the other. So hold on, stop right there. So you got to picture this. He's on top of the mountain. He's praying, worshiping. He's been worshiping so long, his arms are tired. He can't even hold his arms up no more. So one guy held up his arm on one side. The other guy held up his arm on the other side. So now he's looking like what? A cross. He's looking like he's got his arms spread open like Jesus on the cross. This is 700 years before Jesus was even born. This is the Old Testament. You know what I'm saying? Giving you revelation of what's to come. But he's saying, keep your eyes on the cross, man. Keep your eyes on the cross. Don't get distracted. Go ahead. So that his hands remained steady until sunset. So Joshua over his hands remained steady until sunset. He had his hands raised, spread apart, worshiping God until the sun went down. So Joshua overcame the Amalekite army with the sword. Then the Lord said to Moses, write this on a scroll as something to be remembered and make sure that Joshua hears it. That's right. The end. So basically they're saying, keep your eyes on the cross. You know what I'm saying? Don't look at the distractions of the world. Don't let the world, the distractions of the world come between you and your fellowship with God. Keep your eyes on the cross. Bills may distract you. Debt may distract you. Relationships may distract you. Your job may distract you. Gossip may distract you. Your Instagram may distract you. Your Facebook may distract you. But don't take your eyes off the cross. You know what I'm saying? Just like uh, the Israelites were winning, as long as Moses had his arms spread and was worshiping, Joshua look up, see Moses up there with his arms spread. He had his eyes on the cross and didn't even know it. You hear me, man? Anyway, let's. Uh, you're not done. Okay, go ahead, read some more. I ain't gonna stop you. Go ahead, Gigi. Because I will completely blot out the name of Alamakai under from under heaven. My Moses built an altar and called it the Lord is my banner. He said, because hands were lifted up against the throne of the Lord, the Lord will be at war against the Alamakites from generation to generation. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Be still and let God fight your battles. That's what we got to learn how to do. Be still and let God go to war for us. You know what I'm saying? Let that Holy Spirit fight your battles. All we got to do is stay in God's word and be obedient and keep your eyes on the cross. Now, let me check on these little dogs over here before they go and choke on a neck bone. Kingston over there got these dogs eating big old turkey neck bones. He was supposed to chop them up, make them in little pieces. Yeah, Billy Wayne, you okay, boy? Not hey, me. hey, don't forget, we still got hoodies, y'all. Look, check this out. 
Big Bless Luciano TV. <laughs> it for you. you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't forget Lucha Gang, Lucha Gang. You know what I'm saying? Support the movement, baby. Support the cause. Go to LuchianoTV.com. I'll turn this light on. Hold on, man. LuchianoTV.com. Get your Big Bless CD. We got the uh, beanies. We got the Prayer Main t-shirts. We got the Stay True beanies on there. The Big Bless hoodies. Yeah. Don't forget. Kingston. She's okay. She all right in there? Betty Lou in there eating. What you doing in here? Houston, you got your TV on? You ain't even watching it. Yeah, no, it's over. It's over? Say, so what's up, Lucha Gang? Kelly Jean is about to go to youth night at Get Rap Church. I'm going to stay here with... Uh, the little ones, but she gonna take the big kids and go to youth night at Get Rap Church. If you're in the Houston area and you got a, a kid from 6th grade to 12th grade and you want to bring them on Wednesday night, bring them to Get Rap Church, Aldean Westfield, every Wednesday at 6.45 p.m. You pick them up at 8.30 p.m. Don't be trying to leave them there until 9, 10 o'clock. Some of them parents don't be pulling up to about 9.30 at night picking up their kid. This ain't a daycare now, man. Well, I'm about to start getting ready. We have youth night. I have to leave in like an hour and a half. Um, I just sent Gigi to go get ready. Hopefully, Kingston's getting ready as well. Um, Lucky just tapped in with all the information. Let y'all know that it's 6th through 12th grade. From Doors open at 640, but service starts at 7, and it ends at 830. I'm so excited. We have games, worship, prayer, and a word of God. And it's nothing but teens, young adults that are like-minded, that have a calling in life, that have purpose. And it's just about molding them and um, teaching them how to be bold and courageous in Christ. So I'm so excited. I will try to record some content there so that we can post it tomorrow. That way y'all get excited if you are contemplating, if you want to come through. Um, I'll give you bits and pieces of it. That way you can see how much fun we have and um, how you can relate. It's not, it's not like uh, Pastor Todd preached yesterday, yesterday, Pastor Todd preached last week um, at Youth Night and he's like, I feel like a lot of people have a vision of Jesus like walking around like, oh, ah. it's not, it's not about that. It's about God. It was, God wants to love on you. God wants to be your friend. He wants to help you through life. And um, that's what it's about. So just trying to teach y'all the word of God and encourage y'all to get in it and get tapped into a church, right? Um, what else? What else? What else? I guess I got to get up and get ready. I was just chilling right here. I was low-key watching reruns of Blue Channel TV, trying to motivate myself. And it's just so awesome to see our growth, to see our kids grow up. It's just so funny how many stages we went through. Like, look, you had blonde hair, you guys. <laughs> Kingston had blue hair at one point. I don't know. It, it's it's just it's awesome to see our growth, right? Um, but we are trying our best to get back on uh, track with the vlogs. Y'all are like family. We love y'all so much, and we actually miss y'all even more. Uh, we just have to get uh, arrange our schedules because it has been a little. Um, I don't know. Our plate has been very loaded, I want to say, and we're not complaining. We just had to figure out how to have a healthy schedule in order for us to be able to have a healthy life and a healthy relationship with one another and with y'all and everything that we do. So ministry has been awesome. God is good. Y'all remember that. And um, <sighs> that was it. That was it. We love y'all. And I'm safe and sound Trials trying to hold me down Heavy burdens my shoulders Wow, even if the world is against me In your embrace, I'm safe and sound